This is Dan, and I'm once again back at Ushikon 2019, and it's my favorite con of the entire place. It's good to be back. And we got some Japanese guests here. We got uh, Jay Hickman, who's going to be having a panel later on. And I don't know, it's, it's like a reunion every time I come back here. And it's changed a little bit. They've added new lighting to the hallways. Um, hey, some things can't last forever. But in the meantime, let's have some fun. <laughs> That's the one thing I've missed most about Japan was the food. Because I'm not a sushi boss. I can get what you want, you want sushi or hibachi. No, I want toriyaki. I want the stews. I want all that good stuff. I don't think there's a yeah. I don't think they have like a okay. yeah. sauce person and that looks so labeled with so much sauce that I was just like, oh, and here I was going mayo, adding mayo to it. I
14. She just turned uh, 14 on the fifth. Yeah, she's getting water. She is getting water, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what breed of dog is it? You know how dog tongues, you know how their, their tongues work, right? It works like a ladle. Yeah, they laugh. Like dogs work like a ladle. I know, but it comes from up your butt. And yes, I would like to thank Yokai Dark Souls for that clip, also known as Neo. Uh, in order to get the delicious magical jawbreaker that lives in your ass, a couple's main tactic is to find someone swimming alone, drag them deep underwater, and, and cram their arm all the way up your butt so they can grab that nasty candy. And that's why we're married. <laughs> uh, despite being seen as a as cutesy wootsy turtle friends today, uh, historically speaking, Kappa were considered legitimately dangerous monsters. Uh, many of the older stories about them involving horrible murder or unwanted physical advances toward women. And by unwanted physical advances toward women, you know exactly what we're talking about. Uh, the couple were said to be strong enough to rip a person limb from limb, and the only way to survive a kappa encounter was to bow to it. Because despite being butt-thirsty murderers, kappa are very polite. Very Polite. Very polite. And if you bow to it, it would be honor bound to bow back, meaning all that life getting water would sploosh out of their head plate, and the copper would be as weak as a kitten. Are you special? Like Final seven. Fantasy Seven. Military walks out, runs to his childhood friend, and is so blown away by your hot bob that he retcons his entire life. Yeah. Because here's the thing, the actual plot of this involves like xenomorph blood and space demons and ancient cultures, and it's all really and a big CGI void filled with souls that look like glowing jizz. <laughs> and this, here's the thing, this story is so fucking badly translated, they actually tapped one of the guys who was supposed to program the monster stats to edit the English translation, and it shows. Now, the, idea of, the, the idea in 1997 when this came out of video games being culturally significant was like today someone's calling Nickelback the greatest band in rock history. Here's the thing, uh, like I said, the translation is gone. There is a retranslation um, patch that fixes all this shit, but let's be real. If you love Final Fantasy VII, you love it so much that playing through this in, like, people English, you would see it as sacrilege against the art of the game. Like, no, this is supposed to be dumb as fuck. Uh, Emerald and Ruby Weapon are fucking stupid. I finally beat Emerald Weapon for the first time, uh, like, uh, a couple months ago, and I was absolutely cheating. I just, knights of the Round. I just man. fired Knights of the Round over and over and over again. Everyone had Final Attack and Revive, and, and it was impossible for me to die, and it still took me, like, 35 minutes to beat this motherfucker. So okay. he can eat shit. Yes. Um, it's also, but the thing is, Final Fantasy VII is massively appealing. It hits the perfect balance between anime bullshit and real world pathos that basically everyone likes it, even if it's not their all time favorite. And as such, every single game after this one got compared to Final Fantasy VII and usually came up wanting. So, why is having a really good game a bad thing? This is why, because as you mentioned, after Square committed seppuku with a sword called Spirited Within, they're like, oh shit, we need to make money. What can we make that people will like? And then they said, fan fiction of our own game. And the compilation happened. We don't have time to talk about yeah, that. Yeah, we do, really quick, we do. Well, no, because the compilation is too big. We have uh, one for the people who want to fuck Zach, uh, because, uh, if you like Crisis Core, you ship clouds that like there's no tomorrow. Uh, Final Fantasy and then Dirge of Cerberus, where uh, Square tries to make a first-person shooter because uh, the compilation itself is such a mess. What this game to now says about you is, is that you read so much fan fiction of this game that you actually tricked yourself into thinking Vincent Valentine is an interesting character. Uh, and, but what, if Final Fantasy VII is your favorite game, then, I mean, you're just... Uh, 
an incredibly boring person. <laughs> I've been so busy. Your favorite band is the Beatles. You have a frighteningly large collection of big titty hentai. And your tastes are overall. so basic that it's like God was just like, eh, generic nerd Mark B. Uh, if you, you like the things everyone else likes, and while Final Fantasy VII is a damn fine game, in reality there's probably another Final Fantasy that you're secretly kind of into, but you can't stand the idea of someone arguing with you and thinking you're dumb for not thinking this is the greatest game of all time. Because to be fair, the Final Fantasy fandom is notoriously uh, wank prone, oh. and the moment you say something like, yeah, okay, I thought Final Fantasy X was fun, you'll have like 20 people jump on you like, fuck you, no, which is kind of what this panel is now that I think about it. Honestly, the best thing Square could do is cancel 7 Remake completely. There is, absolute, there is absolutely no way Square will be able to put out 7 Remake and make people happy. People would set the building on fire! People, yeah, and if they release Final Fantasy 7 and it's anything but absolutely perfect, they'll set the building on fire. If it's they like, okay, cancel it after they cancel like the 15 DLC and if, all of that, hey, no, 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 you're wrong. Uh, if they fix the translation errors, they'll burn the building down. If they don't fix the translation errors, they'll burn the building down. You know, sorry. In my day, space operas were all the rage. We even had this kick ass toe in me back in 1978 without laws and black women and advanced civilizations. I don't care if Star Trek did it first, this enemy did it better. When you ain't got your captain's log right here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hey, name those movies. Oh. Oh.
over the window thing because it's right on the other side.